<laughs> Are you able to reach it? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it is an honor and a pleasure um, to be before you. But before I can address you on the topic that I have been handed, which is reconciliation and nation building, um, I must do as we do um, when I'm back at home with the rest of my comrades, which is to open a meeting essentially with the decolonized national anthem that we are cu currently constructing at the moment that includes other languages such as Tsonga and Shona and other African languages that essentially incorporates the decolonial project that we're undergoing at the moment in institutions of higher learning. So if you will please indulge me and, and, and sing along with me as, as I start. Comrades, you don't know the national anthem? It can't be that you don't know it. We are decolonizing it today. Can I ask everyone to please stand? I'm going to teach you the decolonized national anthem today. This decolonized national anthem does not recognize the settler. It does not recognize our colonizer that continues to even colonize our education system. So as I begin, I, I will try and lead and follow at the same time so you can pick up the tune as well. Go see, I'm go see, see, get lela, go see, see, get lela, Africa. I'm malu paganji su, malu paganji. I'd like to take it to you. You've got the first part, right? Let's let's go one more time. Angosi, angosi, si gelela. Au si gelela. I thank you very much. You may be seated. Um, so essentially the importance of the decolonial national anthem, when it, when it starts, it starts off with Ngosi Sigeleli Africa. And then it continues to say Malupagani Supondo Lwai. But when we move over to the second part of the song, Iti Noma Segunzima Emtabeni, Sihukunye Zwangamakun, Ngosi Sipamanda Ogunoba, Silwe no Satan. Now this essentially speaks to what I'm going to talk about, which is reconciliation and nation building. The whole point of reconciliation, first of all, what we must understand is that the reconciliation has not been done thoroughly in this country. And by reconciliation, I don't mean the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, but I mean the reconciliation amongst the indigenous people of this country, amongst us as black people of different cultures, of different ethnicities living in South Africa. We have not undergone our reconciliation project. We have not engaged in reconciliation as black people in this country. We cannot then expect that we will be able then to move in one accord and to build a nation around this new democratic South Africa that we find ourselves in. So when we speak about reconciliation, what exactly do we mean? 
our understanding of reconciliation should first be one of forgiveness and peace. But this is not a forgiveness and peace that should be given to someone else, but it is a forgiveness and peace that should start in Tenan. One, we need to forgive ourselves for, I wouldn't say allowing ourselves to be colonized because our colonization was a very brutal one. But we must forgive ourselves for enduring colonialism for the amount of time that we did. The fact that we were colonized and after being colonized we had to endure a system of apartheid for over 30 years is something we need to forgive ourselves for. The fact that we were not able to constructively stand up and fight the apartheid government when the apartheid system had just begun is something we need to forgive ourselves for. And this forgiveness also is, is highly rooted in education. Right? So, I, I am honored to, to be here at um, Isaac Morris High School because I, we, we consider ourselves back at Vich University under Fees Must Fall to be young Tietzi Machine is running around and Steve because I'm um, fighting for the revolution um, and the emancipation of our people through education because we believe that it is through education that we will be able to understand who and what we are in the context of South Africa today. We will be able to understand where we come from and where essentially we are trying to go. And that is the fundamental component of nation building. For us to be able to build a nation, we need to understand where we come from, we need to understand where we are at this present point in time, and we need to understand where we are going. So when we speak about well, there you are watching the live uh, pictures uh, there from the Tsitsi Machinini Memorial Lecture currently underway at the Morris Isaacson High School in Jabavu in uh, Soweto. We will be taking you back uh, to that uh, uh, lecture a little bit later, but right now we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 